In this session, we are going to show how multiple seven segment displays work. Good morning, I am UC Patnaik. Hope you have uh, subscribed to my channel. Now let's proceed to the topic. Before understanding the multiple seven segment functioning let us try to understand first how a single display unit works we have a seven segment display unit here single unit it's a common anode mode where we have given positive supply here and for the limbs the seven limbs we are given also logic one that is positive now we will see how it uh, actually the seven segment works supposing i make this limb zero so you find this particular is glowing now, if I make this limb, you see this one is glowing. If I make this limb, then this one is glowing and so on. This one. And finally, this one. So we are given them names as A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Right. So this is the basic function of any seven segment display when you give supply here and you give negative here either through controller or through any other means of course the uh, actual circuit will be having some resistance and solve which we have not included here now what we are done we have connected all the a b c d e f g of all the three here in parallel and we will see how it works now only if i give positive supply to the particular display only that unit will glow for example when we try to see how the functioning is now if i use this one as that means this digit because all these pins are zero at low so the eight is displayed here now if i also use this then the other one is also coming or if i switch off this and switch on this then i find this one is coming and then if i switch off this and switch on this then i find this one is going so this is the display will appear depending on which one is switched on if i switch on this it will be this 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 and if i do it at a very high speed the numbers will look stationary now see how it works now what i try to do your example for displaying a number 239 let's say how a number 239 will be displayed now for first one that means two to be displayed here what you have said is that c is equal to f is equal to one so let me c is equal to one and f is equal to one c is equal to one f is equal to one for two for displaying two here while q1 is zero and q2 q3 as one so i will make this zero you see the now number two is displayed similarly if i want to display number three now i switch off this I switch off this i would uh, display number three so e is equal to f is equal to one now f is equal to one is there so i switch off this and e is equal to one so e is equal to one f is equal to one for three q1 is equal to one q2 is equal to zero q3 is equal to one these two will be one one whereas if i make this as zero you see number three is displayed so two three now similarly 9 will be displayed when i switch off this and i know for this e is equal to 1 only that means e is equal to 1 so i switch off the f logic here also so e is equal to 1 for 9 and in this case this has to be 0 and these two will be 1 now if i make it 0 i find 9 is being displayed here now now the question comes how 2 3 9 will be displayed what we do is this three pins uh, while data for two is coming here we'll switch on this while data for three is coming we'll switch on this while data for nine is coming we'll switch on this that means at a given time only one display is on right now when i scan it at a very high speed and synchronize it very high speed from the microcontroller the two three nine will appear stationary that is what because of our persistence of vision we still see an object if it is removed from our eyes within one sixteenth of a second so the entire work will be carried out within one sixteenth of a second so that the stationary display of two three nine will be displayed this is how multiple seven segment display units work hope you have understood this please subscribe please share it with your friends and social sites please like it and bell button also if you have not 
subscribed so far all future videos will be communicated to you automatically thank you